What it do, my peoples? Mr. Mike 8308 here with some more Fallout 4. I wanted to show you guys off some of this new crafter stuff when you side with the Raiders. I don't think you better build any of this shit if you kill the Raiders. You can make a boost steal and you can sign a Raider to it. And what this do will put booze into your workstation. And you got this thing over here, a pick me up station. What it do, you come here and you better get Kim's out of it. It's pretty cool. I didn't know how to put Kim's in. I think it automated my Kim's and just come in and get it. So far, I can build a gear trader, gear dealer, and then it'll sell gangs, outfits, and weapons. And that's pretty cool. I don't know why I can't build this yet, but this all the resources. This is what I got to build now. It, it allowed me to listen to the Nuclear World Radio um, inside the Commonwealth. Uh, as you can see what it says up there, broadcast radio radio to the surrounding area. Terminate peaceful settlers required to be amplified. So I'm going to put this right next to the generator. I might need to build up a better generator than this. So it should be working. And this this is pretty neat right here. They got other things too. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, actually, I need to sign somebody to that. Oh, they got enough food. Uh, let's see. And you sign to it. And make sure they make booze now. Then when you come back to your workstation, uh, there should be booze in there. Um, I also wanted to bring up another thing uh, about the PS4 mods. I keep getting comments and stuff about people that follow me, not only in my Fallout 4 community, uh, but uh, also friends and other followers and stuff. So, uh, you guys, uh, you're asking the wrong person about when we go get the mods. It's best to go to Bethesda. Uh, some of these guys has went through Bethesda and Bethesda failed to respond or even give the guys any info on when the PS4 community is getting a mod. So that only says that they either don't know or they under some type of contract with um, Microsoft. Because if you remember, uh, Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix wouldn't give us information about why it's a tune right because they was under some contract with Microsoft, right? If I remember. So, um, some of some of some of my um, community and followers and stuff is starting to believe that um, Bethesda could be on that contract with uh, Microsoft, um, holding back info on when the PS4 is going to get the the mods for Fallout 4. And goddamn, it got me thinking. You guys is actually right. I mean, that makes sense. Cause why when we need comments and stuff. You, you can't give us a, a, a actual date. Like, say November, October, December, nothing. There's literally no fucking date. So, that only says that they are under some contract with Microsoft. Some hidden secret fucking undercover contract with Microsoft. But what, what other reason could it be for them not giving us info on when the fuck we're getting mods on PS4? That makes sense. I'm glad them guys brought this to my attention. I mean, it makes perfect fucking sense. Microsoft just greedy like that. And here go another greedy move. So if you guys think the Xbox One Scorpio is going to be $500, you are sadly mistaken. It turns out Microsoft is treating this thing like a high-end PC. So you know most high-end PCs cost a lot of money. So rumors is, and hopefully this is just rumors, because if Microsoft go with this price, it's going to hurt the sales of their new Xbox One Scorpio. So rumors is that the Xbox One Scorpio is going to be one thousand dollars. Hmm, that's kind of fucked up. You think, right? I know. And the reason is Microsoft saying that's how much. Pretty much they saying that's how much you would pay for a high end PC. So I guess in a way, that's how much they want you to pay for a high end Xbox One. Uh. I, I I hope this price is, is not true. If so, then it's going to hurt the sales of the Xbox One Scorpio. If, if Sony come out and say, oh, okay, um, 
the PlayStation 4 Scorpio, I mean the PlayStation 4 Neo is $500. That is going to, it's going to be a repeat all over again. That the PS4 Neo is going to outsell the Xbox One Scorpio, especially if Microsoft go with that price. So hopefully that's not true. So I think I've done everything I need to do in this area. I'm actually joining Nuka World and stuff, this whole being the leader of your whole, your gang and stuff. This shit is pretty cool. Let's see. Actually, over there making bows. So you actually gotta face it this way. God, I face it other ways, and they wouldn't go to us. So it gotta actually be faced this way, for it for it to work. So I'm still trying to find out how this thing work. So far, it's still empty. So I don't know how that work. I don't know if I have to put cams in it. I say then it's time to produce. So it automatically produce cams, and you come back and get it. So you decorate your sediment and stuff to look just like radios the sediments that you already had in the color of. So this is pretty cool being in control of your own game. You're just going over with your new game, taking over the color of. I love that. Um, with my next pair, I'm going to kill all the Raiders. So yeah, that, uh, I just pretty much wanted to share the new stuff that you can build if you sign with the Raiders for a new career. I also discussed the mods for the PS4 and that ridiculous price for the Xbox One Scorpio. Okay, this is an amplifier right here. Say I needed to build this. So, let's build this. Tone to radio radio makes all outposts happier. I see nuclear radio transmitter. So if I put this somewhere, I don't know if I have to necessarily put it close by the generator because they don't have power. I just build it somewhere and my radios will be able to listen to radio radio. I'm guessing. I don't know I could be wrong. Right. I'm going to put that down to see. Now what else we got in here to build? So, this thing right here is a, is a tr um, tribute chest. If you um, if I have some of I can build it. Meaning, um, every now and then, my, my raiders will go out and scavenge and put stuff into this chest for me. Uh, I'm a little bit short on the aluminum. I think, I mean, that's a wrapper. So I'm going to have to scrap to get aluminum out for me. If you don't. Oh, uh, shit. I really want to make that and see how that is, but I do that enough time. I'm going to go on and call it it on here. Um, yeah, but I just want to share that with you guys. Um, obviously, there was stuff going on with the mods for the PS4, the Xbox One, $1,000 price. Uh, Xbox One Scorpio, $1,000 price. But um, now that I do believe, Microsoft probably are going to charge you guys probably... I say, I, I wouldn't necessarily say 1,000, because they might make two versions of this, a, a 1,000, um, a 1 tier. What, what is that word called? God damn, I keep forgetting that word. Ah, damn, I keep forgetting that word. Anyway, they might make two versions of the Xbox One Scorpio. One might be, let's say the cheapest, i say 800. And then if you want a bigger hard drive, it might cost a thousand. I don't know. That's that's how I see. They might make two versions of this thing: one for eight hundred, one for a thousand. I don't think it's just gonna be one Xbox One Scorpion with the thousand dollar price tag. But um, that's still ridiculous. If Sony come out and say the Xbox One, I mean the PS4 Neo, sorry about that, PS4 Neo is five hundred dollars. That is going to hurt the sales of that damn Xbox One Scorpion. But that is my time, you guys. Um, you guys, please like, subscribe, leave comments, let me know what, I, what you guys think about all this stuff that I talked about. Um, until then, I'll see you guys later. You guys take care.